Uh, hey, what's up, YouTube? It is your boy, Charles James. And uh, I'm back just to give y'all encouragement and to let y'all all know that I love you all. And um, so I just want to talk to you all about, you know, uh, the new heaven and the, you know, the new earth. And so I just want y'all to picture for a minute real quick, just, just to think about how things will be when all of the brothers and sisters in Christ are with God for all eternity. And now see, when I think about that, I think about how as, as we brothers and sisters in Christ, we get to spend time with Jesus and live with him forever and ever. It don't stop. And so y'all, that's the, that, that just to think about that, that gives me so much joy. So I want to read from, uh, from, from Revelation chapter 21, verse one through five. And it reads, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. And there was no, no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all their tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither there be any more pain, for, for the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. So, brothers and sisters in Christ, man, just to think about all of that, just a, just a picture of us being with God forever and ever and praising him and, and, and just doing so many amazing things in heaven and on the, you know, new earth that is to come. And, and also, uh, I want to point out to y'all verse four and when it says, and, and God shall a white, a and, and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes and, and there shall be no more death and neither sorrow nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain for the for, former things are passed away. So with God forever, man, like, like it'll be no sorrows at all. Just straight joy. And, and y'all, and I'm sure that, you know, um, that uh, that those tears in heaven that, you know, we will have, it'll be from where we know our, our family members and friends that are not with God in heaven. That I'm pretty sure it is, it's going to come from that. And also uh, tears of joy of finally being with God and and the overwhelming joy and love of just being in God's presence. So, you know, our brothers and sisters in Christ, like every day we got a, you know, a mission. And that mission is to teach the good news of Jesus Christ and to also bring many souls as we can to Jesus Christ because you know, uh, one day Jesus Christ is coming back and he's coming to get his, his children. And so 
And and if you are not right with God, I'm talking about the, you know, sinners. If you are not right with God, you know that you're not going to spend eternity with, with God. You, your, your eternity will, will be uh, uh, eternally separated from God. So give your life to to Jesus Christ today and 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 place your faith within him because uh, to be eternally separated from God that alone right there it sounds like a nightmare it's nothing i want to experience that's the scariest thing to be eternally uh uh, uh you know separated from God and and that is nothing to play with like this is serious so in life we we have to we, we have to take this life you know serious there's nothing to play with so you know brothers and sisters in Christ like just continue to encourage one another because one day man we all will 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 be spending time together forever in the presence of God God is love God is peace and 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 I'm pretty sure that you know that 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 we all will get that opportunity to ask Jesus about how how how, how this world was created and I mean of course we know God spoke the words and he he moved upon this earth to create it, but but you know I I believe that we, like like we will get that chance to actually see how how this world was created and so i picture us being in a classroom where jesus is there and and all of us is is in a classroom and we are asking jesus of so like we are asking jesus questions that that we you know long for and man like i just imagine all of that so Brothers and sisters in Christ, I love y'all all and and continue to just think about heaven. You know, uh, I continue to uh, to have Jesus in your in, in your mouth. I continue to just have Jesus everywhere in your life because I'm trying to tell y'all like like Jesus is good news and and I know that. You know that when Jesus comes back, we're not gonna meet Jesus as as our judge. Oh, 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 we're gonna you know meet Jesus as our you know savior because he will come and get us f from this crazy world and take us home to heaven. So each day, I think about heaven. I uh, think about you know, pleasing Jesus as much as you can. And and just think about, you know, just honoring God with your whole life. And and if you know that, you know, that that uh, there are those that are lost, pray for them. Uh, like, do not give up praying, you know, for them. Because prayer is, is our spiritual cell phone to God. Like, Keep praying. The Bible says, you know, pray without ceasing. So, so every day, pray and keep a close relationship with God because it is needed. Um, but yeah, I just want to just, you know, share this with y'all and to encourage y'all of what is to come. So, and I cannot wait to see you and you and you and you all in the kingdom of God and we are hugging each other and just just forever in in the warm loving arms of Jesus Christ. Well I love y'all and I hope that you all have a blessed day and continue to read your Bible and stay close to God. Alright I love y'all. Bye.